final year of MBBS is full of extensive syllabus, endless clinical rotations, exams and preparation for NEET PG. Sometimes it may seem overwhelming, but trust me, with the right strategy, you can balance your entire workflow and still ace the competitive exams. Hi, I'm Dr. Nivedita Kaudi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are focusing on a critical topic for the final year MBBS students. How to study effectively for NEET PG while managing your final year responsibilities. Whether you are just getting started or looking forward to refine your strategy, this video is for you. So let's start. To get a decent rank in NEET PG, you have to be thorough with all the 19 subjects. But you know how extensive each subject is. Without proper guidance, you will get lost in the worst ocean of knowledge. Since you get a limited amount of time, you need to focus on the high yield points and concepts. And here comes the role of the coaching institutions. As in this video, I am addressing all the final year students, I can expect that you are already attached to any such institution. If I talk about myself, I took subscription to Marrow Plan C in my second year and for my preparation, I depended on Marrow only. You can follow whatever you want, be it Marrow, be it Dams, Preplatter or any other institution. You can first watch the video and then read the same topic from textbook or first read it and then watch the video. What I am trying to say is, watching the videos only should not be your target. You have to supplement it with textbooks. If you have printed notes with you, you can annotate it while watching the video or you can make handwritten notes as well. Go with whichever suits your reading pattern and time availability. While reading the books, you will come across some extra points. Simply add them on your notes. Your target should be to complete watching all the final year videos within first five to six months. If any subject from previous years is left, then do it immediately after completing the final year subjects. Don't enter your internship with any backlog. When you are going to start your internship, you should have notes of all the 19 subjects ready in your hands. You can use these notes for your professional exams. The knowledge remains the same. You just have to present all the information in a more palatable way. This video was suggested by a comment right here. If you want a video on how to write in the university exams, just let me know in the comment section. I will try to make a separate video on that topic. Start solving MCQs. And if you are already doing this, just carry it on. Solving MCQs is an art and it cannot be learned overnight. If you do 20 to 30 MCQs each day, you will be far ahead of others at the end. Make this a habit. At the beginning of your schedule in the morning or just before going to the bed at night, solve a few multiple choice questions. They are indispensable part of your PG preparation. They not only help to store the information in your grey matter, but also help in active recall. You will learn how to rule out the wrong options, how to make the most appropriate case, and which questions to leave to avoid negative markings. While solving the questions, read the explanations given there. Every line written there is important, every diagram given there is important. You will come across many extra and also extremely important points while solving the questions and just note them down in your own copies. Practice makes you perfect. And for this, giving GDs is extremely important. It is said that the best time to start giving the grand tests is the day one of your preparation. If you haven't started it yet, then start attempting GTs as early as possible. This will help you get familiar with the real exam pattern and also it will help to improve your time management skill. Whatever rank you are getting, don't feel demotivated. These tests are to make you habituated with your upcoming exam. And of course, they will help you to find out your weak subjects. 
sitting in front of a screen for three and a half hour at a stretch no doubt requires practice. When you are giving grand test, try to simulate the real exam pattern. Sit on a chair properly, not on bed or sofa. Use your laptop or PC instead of the iPad. Keep a bottle of water with you and keep the books, notes and obviously your mobile phone away from your reach. Don't take unnecessary breaks during the exam time unless you have to go to the toilet or you have some very urgent reason. After giving the test, review it. This is a very important step and many of us have a tendency to ignore it. Giving the test means your job is only half done. During review, see the explanations. You may skip the questions if you are very sure and you did it right. But for the wrong attempts, you have to focus on the explanations given there. Also, you can keep a check on your performance. Your aim should be to maintain an uprising graph. And of course, when uh, you are having higher scores, then the curve will reach a plateau. But if you see your marks are decreasing, or you are getting almost similar marks at a lower range, then this is alarming. The analysis given after the GTs will help you to see what your position is in the rat race. Doing well only in the exam doesn't make sense in a highly competitive exam like NEET PG. To get your dream branch in your dream college, you need to be better than others. Try to utilize your clinical postings to the fullest. They help to bridge the gap between the theoretical knowledge and the practical application. Day by day, NEET PG is becoming more clinically oriented. The questions are having long stem and also they are integrating more than one subject. After explaining a clinical scenario, sometimes a question is asked from anatomy or physiology or simply from pathology. Without proper clinical exposure, it is very difficult to solve such type of questions. And after all, you are going to become a doctor in near future. And being a doctor, our best teacher is our patients. You will have to diagnose the disease and treat the patient. And this clinical postings will help you to develop the clinical skills and diagnostic abilities. You will have to deal with the patients and their relatives in real life scenarios. The clinical postings will help you to develop soft skills such as communication, empathy, teamwork and all these are extremely important for effective healthcare delivery. Try to prioritize time as much as possible. Internship is hectic for everybody. If I talk about myself, during my major postings like OBGY, medicine, I couldn't even open my notes for most of the days. My duty schedule was so hectic that I had to struggle to get some time to eat and sleep. Only during my minor postings like ophthalmology, ENT, dermatology, blood bank, I could manage to study a little bit in between my duty hours. Whatever I read for my NEET PG was either before or after my internship. This year, the exam was initially scheduled on 3rd March. Then it was postponed to the first week of July. Then again pre-poned to 23rd of June. But on 22nd of June, late in the evening, the exam got cancelled and finally it happened on 11th of August. Yes, the unexpected changes were hampering my study plan, but actually this postponement was a blessing in disguise to me. If the exam wasn't postponed, I might have had to suffer for a year. This is all from my side. If you have any query, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, thanks for watching till the end.